Lisa, welcome to Retro Inebriation. Hi! I have to turn off the damn volume on the TV. You do. That was loud. Anyway, um, it's Mike Tyson week. It's Punch Out Week! That's why I have an extra shot that I'm balancing on my head. Well, no, I was balancing on For no freaking reason. Yeah. Your shot, sir. I've been doing it for like five minutes, and I only dropped it once. That was Brian's fault. He says once. <clears throat> I, I said once because that's what happened. We have no proof of that. Take your shot, sir. Were you not recording for most of it? No. This is Mountain Dew. This is not Boiler Girl. <laughs> You're already taking the extra shot. You're going to leave uh, Right. To the Legend of Zelda. Ooh. We started Mike Tyson week and didn't do anything about Mike Tyson. That's cool. I can dig it. So we are clearly playing Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Game Boy. That was clear, correct? Maybe. You don't think so? Oh no. Link is, is restless in bed. <clears throat> We've never seen that happening at the beginning of a Zelda game before. Did you set the timer? Of course I did. You forgot it last week. I forget all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Extra shot. Do you have to pour it in a glass? <clears throat> Today I do. Why, did you want to see how big it was? No, it's, it's too much air to... <laughs> if someone would like to put in the comments whether or not the air in the glass has anything to do with taking a, wider, a shot... It has a wider base in, like, whiskey glass. Why do you think it has a wider base? You're still full of crap. I asked a question that makes me full of crap? Yes. Take your well, shot, sir. Brian, you finally snapped. <laughs> uh, that was good. You made that work for you. <laughs> yeah, I did indeed. Um, <clears throat> uh, to Gino. My name is etched on the back of my shield. That's convenient. One of the things that I always thought was cute about this one is you can actually move items. So if you don't want to press the B button to use the shield, you can assign it to the A button instead. That's cool. It's a cute little feature. So is this map similar to... Nope. <laughs> that was good. Well, the very first screen looked like uh, A Link to the Past, and then... Woo! Flippy, flippy. Yep. Yeah. So I have never played this game. I don't think I've ever... Played it at all. I'm trying to remember. I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever turned it on. Wait, do you own it? Um, no. Shit. I don't have a sword yet, by the way. Why not? Because it's there. It seems like you should get it. Oh, Ooh. it's an owl. Hoot 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 hoot. So. You are the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave the island without unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north <laughs> to the mysterious forest. I'll wait for you there, Hoot. <laughs> I'll wait for you there, Hoot. Ahem. <clears throat> I'm so glad you were drinking during all the opening segments of dialogue. <laughs> this way we didn't have to read all of them. You get shipwrecked. You see the broken oh. planks on the beach and everything. Oh, ooh, and oh you fucked him up. Yes. Because it's Link. He can swing his sword. That's it. That's it. That's how he to do that in my past life. Did he? Yeah. That's why he always knows how to use all his weapons and everything is because... He did. It's the same lives. spirit, but not the same body, so he... I'll be perfectly honest, I never understood the Zelda timeline. I still don't understand it. And I don't care. It's still one of my favorite series. Well, you know they just changed it all, right? They just... They, they constantly changed it. It's bullshit. It. They basically came out and said, Eh, it doesn't work anymore, so this is what it is now. <laughs> um... Yeah. So, new, new timeline, or new I, I don't, story? I don't know it, I just like... You just know it's different. Uh, to, to be completely honest, I don't even know how different it is. Oh, I'm being very, like... Flippant. Flippant. I just read a headline that said, 
no, it changes everything! And I said, oh, Zelda must have changed everything. And then I said it on my show. So. I'm glad you put all the thought uh, into that. <laughs> they must have changed everything. Yeah, that's what I thought when I read the headline. Come on now, person. You said you were going to meet me here. Um, but yeah, no, this is, uh... Are you not reading the owl anymore? Oh, I'm like, hoot! Oh, brave lad! Wait, why is he Irish now? Quest to wake up the dreamer. Welcome to the mysterious wood. Much of a mystery you'll find on this uncharted Koholin Island. <laughs> I'm afraid you may find it a trifle difficult to leave the island while the wind fish naps. But the bye, but by the bye, <laughs> have you ever visited <laughs> the Tell Cave, which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find in this forest. The wind fish is watching. What? It's very hard to read when you have to stop. Why would you have to stop, Brad? Because I don't know what's coming next. As, as is apparent... It's as if you've stuff. never played this game before. Right. Um, I will say, right off the bat, um, the, I, I do know a lot of, like, stuff that happens in the game. Like, I've seen people review the game See people talk about the Mario World cameos and sure. the, the dream and blah, 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 you know. So I know a lot of those things. You know they exist. <clears throat> yeah, even though I haven't played it. Little so. basics in and announcement. <clears throat> I think maybe that's why I, I never took the time to play it. Is because I've I've heard so many things, I've seen so many things that you figured why bother? Why? Yeah, that's horrible. Um, yes, it is. But I do that a lot in life. Well. I'll be perfectly honest, there's so many damn games out there that you can't actually play them all. Oh, of course not. Of can't course be not. done. Um, you can go ahead and play snippets, but there's no way you can fully get involved in all of these worlds and experience them for what they were intended to be. So, I get where you're coming from. This one's Where a classic for me. I got one of those earlier mm -hmm. to protect you from your thing. What is it? Does it tell you every time you get an acorn? Yes. That's dumb. The, the acorn's annoying, and so is the, um, shoot, there's another one that makes your sword more powerful, and it's just as freaking annoying. Okay, I can't push the rocks, and I can't pick these up because I don't have the glove. So this was a waste. That was power fun. glove? Yes, the power glove. Oh. Ooh. Wait, are we going to talk about the un wizard now? Uninteresting side note. Oh, shit. You died! Because I wasn't paying attention. Go ahead. Uninteresting side note. Why did you get across it the second time? I went back, it came back down. They break underneath your feet. Oh, um, so if you walk fast enough, it doesn't... Yes, you, you, have, to, you have to stand okay. on them. No. Because I was listening to you and not paying attention. So, I watch a lot of basketball. And... We're aware of this breath. My favorite, like, sports analysis show is The Starters. Okay? The reason why I like The Starters is because they let the sports casters, like geek out about their favorite teams on the show, okay? So, like, you know... That's fun for you? Yeah, some of them, one of them, their favorite teams the Bulls, another one's the Hawks, another one's the Raptors. There it is. The little <clears throat> piece of power. So awesome. It's almost like the Triforce. You can feel the energy flowing through you. Um, and, uh, and they just let them, even if it's completely irrational to say that the Raptors are the best team in the league, they just let Skeets talk about how excited he is about what's going on in the team and stuff. And, and so maybe not the most factual thing in the world, but it's very energetic, very passionate. Right, and and you you can relate to him because like the Pistons are like fourth in the East, but my God, they're the best team in the league right now. So <clears throat> you you relate to that. However, I noticed something interesting. They have like a back mural. This does tell you what we're talking about. I promise. So they're like a mural. I doubt it, but go ahead. No, it does. It it does, and you'll know that it does when I say that it. Does. So it has like, like like a it has like a couple of signed jerseys and posters and like signed basketballs and all this stuff all across the back wall behind them. Mural, right. got it. And it, they also have a power glove. An any power, power glove. glove. I don't know why it's there. I don't know who chose for it to be there. But I saw it the other day and I rerouted, paused it. I was like, it's, is that, that the power, power glove? And sure enough. The starters on NBA TV, in the background of their episodes, have a power glove. I don't know why. 
died in that fucking mushroom. <clears throat> Why did you get a fucking mushroom? Because it's been ages since I've played this game. Um. Anyways, so you see, it did tie you. It did! I didn't believe you. I was wrong. Oh, oh, block it, blockage, blockage! You got it. Like this? No, I was like, you blocking you, you're trying to hit him with that. I was. I have a shield too. You do. It's um, dinky, but it's shield. This game looks like fun. <laughs> I, it it it's it's a cute little game. Like I said, this, to me, this is the type of game that I would use in defense of your passing comments of what shit Game Boy games are. And there's there's a lot of shit on the Game Boy. Yes. I. I won't argue that, but there are quality games on the game. There are well. quality games. Pokemon Red and Blue. I, they push the Game Boy to its absolute limits. <laughs> oh, you going to be lost? Thank me. <laughs> thanks to me. Thank, thanks to me. If I go up here, you're lost. Yeah. Well, he takes you to a different spot on the map. What a jerk. He is a jerk. Um, but I always talk about how, out of any console that I can think of, yes, Pokemon Red and Blue push the envelope more of the console than, than, than any other game pushes the envelope of the console. You think so? I do. That game is so huge, it's so expansive, you have 150, de 151, Detailed sprites of the different Pokemon. The the battle system is elaborate. There's so much to do. That game is huge. That, that game is just absolutely massive. If that game had released on the Super Nintendo, obviously you'd want the graphics to be color. But outside of that, I think it would poof. It would still be a classic. It would still be a classic. Um, but this game looks like it's fun. Well, this. This game, not only is it a game that I owned originally for the Game Boy, this is the game that I originally owned for the Game Boy. Oh, wow. Meaning this cart that we have plugged in right now. Oh, that's cool. I owned back in 1993, I think was the release date that was Dude, printed on there. Man, you're fucking those people up. Because I have the Triforce. Or, I'm sorry, the Peace of Power. It's not the Triforce of Power. Yet. <clears throat> so this is the one... You just said that you didn't understand the Zelda timeline, so... Yes, I don't, I don't understand the Zelda I don't know why I'm asking you this. But this is the one... <laughs> is the first one in the alternate timeline. Right? This one has no place in the timeline. Okay. Maybe I need to talk to her first. She needs a toadstool to make her powder. Oh, okay. But I didn't find a toadstool, so I'm wondering if maybe it's just because I didn't speak to her. Because I can't go that way. You need a, you need the... The feather, the feather gives you the ability to jump in this game. Gotcha. To go over a passage like that. So I know I can't go that way. I um, always think it's funny. Not that it bothers me in games, but when, like, a character needs an ability to jump. <laughs> well, okay, but let's be perfectly like, honest. I jump, be... <laughs> jumping in video games is astronomical. It would be Characters so... jump sky high in video so games. It would be so weird to me if I have been grounded my entire life and this witch comes to me, he's like, I shall give you this feather, and you can lift both your feet off the ground at the same time. Such an asshole. I'm just saying, it, lots of lots of games do that type of stuff where they they grant their hero an ability that I wasn't calling has. you an asshole because you're making fun of this game. I'm calling you an asshole because it's not jump jumping; it's jumping sky high. If they gave you a feather oh, and you so, could go, wee, so, jump three inches so off the ground. So you have the ability to jump right now. You can jump. No, but right it now. would serve no purpose you, because it, it'll jump from look the at the size of that chasm. How big can is that jump? chasm? Can is you it, jump right? Is it the size of Link? Yeah. Okay. Well, he's an elf, so you're talking about five feet. Can you jump five feet? Probably. We have a camera. I have measuring tape. Can you jump five feet, Brent? I'm gonna say no. But I feel like I could. If he can, there's going to be a stinger at the end of the episode. <laughs> I feel like, how, how many feet do you feel like your table is? Three. No, I can't do <laughs> <laughs> You're like, maybe. I, no. I, I was thinking your table was more like three and a half to four feet. 
Every person should not stand on the, that sign <laughs> called Link Fat. <laughs> no, but that's my whole point. Is but that I have a person a, can't I have a jump horrible those distances. sense of distance. I'm just, I can't. I don't do distance well. I need to get a heart. I'm like desperately. Run away! I am. I'm running to the ferry. Run to the ferry. Well, these, these fairies are not nearly as ridiculous as they do in other games. Are you sure? She has wasp antennae, and that's she has true. a head that's three times the size of her body. Yeah, but you compare that to Majora's Mask or Ocarina of Time. Okay, yeah, there's just some weird ass fairies. <clears throat> or freaking Breath of the Wild, which you guys all know is a game that I, you know, love. Not that I don't like those other games, I just listen. So that's how that you like them quite like that. I do. If someone tells me Ocarina of Time is the best game of all time, I'm like, I think you're wrong, but I understand what you're saying. I don't understand what they're saying. That game is so good. It's so good. It's a good game, didn't age well. Really? I think Ocarina of Time might have aged the best of any N64 game. I'm not arguing that. <laughs> ah, these can move. <clears throat> See, I got discouraged. I pushed some and they didn't move. Mushroom! Da 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 da! They can hear the noise just because you can't. Flows into your nostrils. <sighs> I love how beautiful this screen is. Yep. It's me. Well, that's dickish. Very much so. And I have a feather, so I can't jump over that chasm. That's three and a half feet wide. <laughs> okay, you're gonna take a shot shortly, and then you're gonna play because I've been playing this whole time. <laughs> I have been. I really have. Wait, what? I did this wrong. Because <laughs> now I can't get you out. You did. You're a failure. Let's do that again. Am, am I... No, just go, just push it up. Right. I think you're right. Push uh, it up. But then I, I still can't... You know? I can't get out. No, then you... <laughs> go down. <laughs> Take a shot. I don't have a shot. You do, right? You have my shots. Um... <clears throat> should I toast to, sir? I don't know. How about Rocky Balboa and his illustrious career? To Rocky Balboa and his illustrious career! Ah, there we go. Alright, I did it. You play, sir. Yes, you did. You did a fantastic job. Now you gotta make your way back to that witch's house. I didn't, you think I've been playing close enough attention to get back to any house? Nope. <laughs> Don't stand on it. Ah, oh my goodness. <laughs> Are you going to die, like, right after I give you the controller? I think I am. We're gonna have to start all over again. I really hope the clicking of the buttons shows up in the video. Yeah, I don't think I pushed the button that hard. <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> Do I go up, down, left, or right? Uh, you can go up or down. Up. <laughs> that, was, that was productive. <laughs> I predicted! <laughs> go, go right. You need her. <laughs> you think she makes Superman music? She might. I doubt it. I do too. Yeah, we're on the same page. I didn't say it was likely. You up, son of a bitch. I'm gonna fuck you up. See, this is why we need you playing. Now you're gonna go right. Okay. I'm such a <laughs> you don't have a choice! I could go back. You could. I have a choice. I just choose to beat you. Oh! Press the B button. B button! It's so we don't have to read all of the dialogue. 
and not reading. Okay, down. Okay, down. Go Don't hit him. Okay. Have you never played Link to the Past? Okay, what do you want me to do then? Go down. Oh, I'm just skipping him? Yes, he's electrified. If you hit him, he hurts you. I go in here. Yes. And you give her the mushroom. Ah. You button so you don't hurt at all. Double, double toil and trouble it holds, so mix and mix the power for tricks. Hit start. Start. Assign the mushroom to one of your buttons. You assigned it to A. You unassigned your sword as well for some reason. <laughs> Brent. Okay, oh wait, no, I'm there, I'm there, I'm hollow. Okay. I'm there, I got there. Ah, it has the sleepy toadstool, it does mix it up. Something in the jiffy, I didn't know. <laughs> But already it is take care as there's not much there. But I try a bit in my head. <laughs> We've got some magic power. Just keep forgetting a variety of things. Just sprinkle it on the little fire. The little stupid. You already have it signed, it's the, the oh. B button. In, in the little fire pit, it's to your oh. right. Uh, Yay! Okay. Uh, now now leave. Now, remember the crazy tanuki that made us get lost? No. <laughs> you read his dialogue? <laughs> I'll show you how to get to him. Do you remember his existence? Tanuki? I'm doing a lot of inappropriate things to that wall. If you would go left, Brent. I knew there was a reason we haven't played another Zelda game on our channel. Oh, why didn't you warn me? <laughs> How did you forget so soon? <laughs> B, so you don't have to read all the dialogue. That's not the right way. You didn't tell me. <laughs> you just came from there. This way? Yes, yeah, where the path is going. Sometimes I want to go off the beaten path, right? Sometimes? That's fine. Urgh! Kill the babies. You got him. Down. Down. I'm still going for it. Coward! Left. You don't. You go up. Oh, and there he is. There. Split. No, go up. <laughs> and there he is. Now sprinkle him with the powder. Take this, you bitch. Okay, that's your shield. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah. wait, wait. <laughs> Take this, you bitch. You better dodge him. Oh, I didn't know. I can't move. You're not supposed to. You don't have to dodge him. You're fine. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> yep. This thing I can re I can remember. Biting into a big just a toadstool and then I had a little darn little dream. I was a raccoon! Yeah, sounds sound strange. It was a sure, it was sure fun. Now you can go up without him making you get lost. Hooray! Ta-da! I won. I a key. We got the tail key. Now you can open the tail cave gate. Now I can open the tail? I feel like they need a joke there. Go on now! The wi- oh, why? Wait, I don't know if like that. <laughs> go, go down! He just told you! To... I didn't read what he said. Go down? Yes, yeah, so you want to leave the... Alright. The area. Now. I left the forest. Now you're still in the forest. You gotta go down. And go left. Oh. Is there gonna be bad guys, Brent? I did so good. And go down again. I did so good again! Acorn! Blah 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 He's not Superman. I didn't say he was! What did I say he was You Superman? keep making the- you keep playing the John Williams theme. It's a great theme! It is! He's not Superman. It's one of the best themes of PC. <laughs> Don't go down there, I've already done that. Okay, so I go left? No, you can go down on the stage. Don't jump into the well is what I was saying. Okay, so go down. Sure. 
How do I try to kill him? Push all the buttons at once! Don't ask me what that means, I'm just a kid. That was funny. <laughs> right? Yeah, you can right. Should go right. That's the right way to go. Can't be. Die. You die too! Do I go left, more left, down, <laughs> or right? How about you keep going right? Okay. I don't remember exactly where the tail came is. We'll find it together. I love the fact that you're old school zelda it. As you play, you have to go ahead and knock every bush. Oh, and... I knocked him in the hole. Aww. And now you're going to go right, and we found the tail cave. It's the tail cave. That's where the key goes. What on earth should I do? Look, I figured, you figured it out. I figured it out without your help, right? You said you fingered it out? No, you. Tail cave. And you can explore and go wherever you want to. What? The key! I win! No! You got the corner. You can see where the chests are. And nightmares are hidden. And there's a new feature. The tone will tell you if there's a key hidden in a room. Really helps you when you play on mute. Alright, so Brian, I want you to hum if there's a key in the room. <laughs> I heard a strange noise! <laughs> Ooh. Maybe I wonder what's key. in that box. It's a key! <laughs> <laughs> that was good, I'll give you credit for that one. <laughs> I love the fact that you're not swirling your sword, you're just sticking it out and holding it. You're bunting, essentially. <laughs> How do you spin? You let go. Oh. As you just showed us. Correct. Yes, it's quite intuitive. Oh. <laughs> do you have to be in front of the chest? Yes. That's How do you unlatch it? By reaching. Three and a half feet? <laughs> That's not that far. No? No, you can reach three and a half feet. You just gotta. You can reach three and a half feet. Yeah. Yes, I can. Oh, no, you can. Yes, I can. Can't be done. Yeah, I mean, you gotta use your waist and your body. You can't just reach up with your arms. Don't you think Link would fall in the pit if he tried that? No. I'm pretty sure. You're dumb. Well, sure, but I still think you would. I wanna go through this door. I wonder how you open it. Oh my god, it worked. <laughs> this game is intuitive enough for drunk people. <laughs> drunk. Oh. There's a piece of the slab missing, so you can't read it. So I need to go find the slab. Right? Or yeah. is it not in there? No, it's not. It's not in there. You could you could figure it out, but you can go find the slab instead. Either one works. Just game you move back from now. You said it was intuitive enough for a dark person. How do you think you defeat these guys? Oh, they look beautiful. They're armored. Special ruin in the hole. This is a bad idea! <laughs> <laughs> Please don't die in here. Can I, can I? <laughs> Please don't die in here. I'm trying to sprinkle them. It's not working. Well, hitting them doesn't work, and gluing them into a hole doesn't work. You only have one other option. What's the last option? Pull up your menu, Brad. Quickly, you only have one heart. The compass? No. The shield? Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, no, no. You're, You're not die, Brad. He's... No! Give me that. I can do it. Tell me where to go. <laughs> I can kill these guys. Left or right? Go left. I'm gonna beat this. Kill the bats. 
I'm sorry, they're not called bats. I always forget what bats are called. Keats? Is it Keats? <laughs> something like that. Something they're, weird. They're, it's something unnecessary. They're philosophers? Up or left? Or up. No, not that way. Up. That's a bomb hole! To the left. Up. The left is a bomb hole! You don't have bombs. I'm just stating that I saw it. <laughs> Alright. Yes, Brett, you spotted the bomb hole. Like it's your first ever Pornhub search. Alright. Shield? Okay, alright. I got this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do great. I'm looking forward to the great mess. Oh. Yeah! You did it. Do 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 do! <laughs> Look, Goombas! Oh, oh wait, yeah. I've heard about this. This is one of the things that I said that I had seen. It is. Oh, they're just losers. They are. I remember being so flabbergasted that I saw Mario enemies in a Link right. game. You can't get it, it's flying above you. Oh. Oh, I need a feather. Ooh, do I get a feather? I got a feather! <laughs> You need the little piece of tablet to be able to read that thing. You're gonna die again. <laughs> the same bad guy. You don't have to walk all the way back now. Ooh! No. Ooh! I did it. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Unnecessary. Whee! <laughs> this feather might be more of a curse than a blessing for you. <laughs> I love those screams. <laughs> They're there for almost no reason except to give you a glimpse of something. Alright, now you gotta go fight the guy you didn't want to. Okay, I'm gonna kick his ass. Okay. You, you, you might want to open the chest in the other room, too. In this room? Yes. You're gonna die. You cannot predict the future. I cannot. This is true. Should I kill the bat and go down? Uh, you can't go down. Okay. I don't know why, but I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna believe you. <laughs> no! I didn't. You survived. I haven't passed. You made the skeleton kill himself. That was my plan! Oh! It's a turkey looking dude! You're fighting one of us? Right. Yeah, yeah, be careful. Die with the donkey dude. I love the intense panic that you get. <laughs> I've hit him so many times! You have, you're doing pretty good. Why is he not? He got him dead! Oh, that timing is perfect.
we're going to do a save state because we're going to come back to this at some point. Okay. This is interesting, and I'm not going to play anymore. We're going to let you play. We're going to let me play? Okay. Because that's that's interesting, and I know you're anxious to get on to Tyson. I, I, honest to God, for the first time in maybe my life, you're okay with playing a game before I, Tyson without just yeah. throwing it to the floor and moving yeah. on. This game has been too, uh, what's it? Oh, Link's Awakening. Link. For the first time in my life, I like a game better than playing Mike Tyson. What's it called? <laughs> Whoa, I didn't say better than playing Mike Tyson. I just said that I would be okay with playing for like another my apologies. 40 seconds. My apologies, I didn't mean to inflate your statement. Right. Drink your shot, Dad. Uh, to Link's Awakening. Oh, you remembered. Alright. But we will. We'll create a save state. We'll come back to this at some point, because this is... It's a great game. It's a lot of fun. Um, and watching you play was fucking hilarious. The first part with me playing it was probably boring as snot for people, but <laughs> you was entertaining. Um, so we're playing Mike Tyson, and then at the end of the week, to commemorate the release of the newest Smash Brothers game, Either we're going to be playing a Smash Brothers game. A Smash Brothers game. Tune in on Friday and find out which one. Brian to play the good one. This is like one extra board he has. Okay. <laughs> They're my cords. That's true. You can pick up whatever you want to. That's fine. Um, Um, if you go in that portal, it just takes you back to the beginning. Okay, well, I'm like, oh, spoilers! Yeah. I was going to save outside of it, and then the first thing I was going to do in the next episode was go in there. <laughs> the next thing you're going to do in the next episode is go up, so you can... We'll continue this at some other point. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time.